And while we're warm here in Florida with temperatures mainly in the 60s and 70s, it's mighty winter-like for most of the country. This is a real cold plunge, and it's working in our direction. I'll tell you when the cold air will arrive, coming up. I would say it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, but it's just not with temperatures in the 80s. Not yet. <laughs> However, uh, as we move through the week, uh, most of the country will be looking a lot like Christmas. Yeah. And we'll get in on that later on into the week. For the time being, looking clear out there right now, your weather headlines include a sunny, mostly sunny day for Sunday. It'll be a nice day. And then two cold fronts are on the way this week, one midweek, and then one, let's say, Thursday. And then behind that front cooler air with that secondary front. Now we do have some cooler air to talk about and Brittany I'm going to ask you where this is you might know or any of you in the studio or at home. If you're wondering where this is one foot of snow is on the ground and one more is expected. You it's know? not what you think, right? No, it's not what you think. <laughs> Hawaii. Right? This is Hawaii. I would never yeah, have guessed above that. Above 12,000 feet. Yeah, so it's really high up there. You figure our Appalachian Mountains, uh, Mount Mitchell's about 6,000 feet. Double that, and that's what you get when you get above 12,000 feet in Hawaii. You get snow. No snow around here. It is clear. It's uh, pretty nice. 68 degrees is our temperature. Humidity is high at 81 percent. Don't worry about any fog tonight. We do have a wind blowing out of the east at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Around the area, 63 in Sebring and Arcadia, as well as Port Charlotte. A little bit warmer in Naples, 70 right there. And Mockley, you're the winner tonight with the coolest temperature, 62. Here's a look at the sky. We do have that flow around an area of high pressure feeding an area of low pressure there to our west but for the time being we are looking at clear skies and that will hold true for most of the day tomorrow probably some high cirrus clouds maybe some cumulus clouds but for the most part plenty of sunshine is in the forecast the big weather story this week will be a big trough out west this is a big dip in the jet stream cold air from the polar regions migrating southward and that will influence our weather later on into the week let's say friday notice how the jet streams in our direction that's when our cold air will arrive here sometime on friday for the time being we're in the 60s and 70s out west look at denver 27 degrees for those of you that come from the northeast including myself it's 36 right now in columbus ohio indianapolis 33 chicago 31 expecting some snow tonight up in the northeast albany new york 36 the big apple 43 degrees that cooler air is moving in our direction but it will not arrive until later on into the week. So enjoy the warmth for tomorrow. If you're heading out on a boat, east winds initially, then shifting to the southeast. Moderate chop in the Balin Inland waters. Offshore seas between 2 and 3 feet with the temperature of the water, 72. Tomorrow, mostly sunny. Beautiful day, 83 for the high. Monday, a few late showers in the day. Late showers in the day on Tuesday as well. Ending Wednesday. 82. Pretty good day on Wednesday. Thursday with that secondary front, more showers, and then behind it, cooler air in the forecast.